Hey everyone, this is a um, short video uh, that goes through the steps uh, required to determine the various uh, members of a dutched hip roof and, um, and how to be able to calculate them before erecting the roof. Uh, so um, this animation is designed just to give you uh, an insight on uh, how to do that. Uh, so we'll uh, work through that. So um, this lesson assumes that um, <clears throat> the roof will have the same pitch all around and, um, and I just want to also add that um, usually if you see the uh, hip line drawn on the plan view of a roof if the hip line is drawn in at 45 degrees it usually means that it is the same pitch all around so just want to make that point if for any reason the hip line on a roof is not shown at 50 degrees or sorry at 45 degrees then it means that uh, it isn't the same pitch all around but that would be extremely rare um, usually in my case I've I don't think I've ever come across a roof that hasn't been the same pitch all around. So, anyways, moving on from that. So, uh, the first slide here is basically just want to set the scene here. Uh, you have the gable uh, front elevation view there. Uh, you can see the wall plate on top, the upper wall plate uh, on top of the gable there. And, uh, and then you have a lower wall plate for the main roof. And then you, saw, you see the uh, ridge board coming into the screen here. And um, next thing, uh, you have the common rafter uh, up against that ridge board, and you have one on the opposite side. And then the last thing to drop in place is the Dutch crown itself. So, um, just uh, showing you the animation here that uh, the first thing we need to do here to to determine those components, we need to de discover what is the Dutch rise uh, for this crown. What is the rise for the Dutch crown, in other words? So to get that, you need the first. Um, thing shown here is the plate difference that's had, that's just been animated there you need to measure that distance so you need to measure from the bottom of sorry from the top of the lower wall plate to the top of the upper wall plate what is that vertical distance that's the first thing you need to find out and then after you find out that you will be able to determine this distance but before you determine that distance you'll need to be able to calculate the rise for the main roof and that's just been animated here now so that is the rise of the main roof and as you can see, all those measurements are going up to the line diagram version of the roof. So anytime you're doing geo roof and geometry or any roof developments, you need the line version of the roof first. And afterwards, you can take off your deductions or whatever. So that's just the point being made there. Um, uh, with, from here, uh, we're going to uh, just make the point here that's just come, being animated here right now is the Dutch rise can be found by using this formula. The, take the main rise, which is this distance here, uh, minus this distance here, which is the plate difference, and the answer you'll be delivered is the Dutch rise. Straight away you have the rise of your Dutch. So that's an important bit of information going forward into this lesson. So that was quick. That's quick enough to determine. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's just animate for there just to show you that the two, these two, these two add up to this basically yeah so um <clears throat> i suppose i just want to make the point as well here that the right angled uh the right angled triangle that relates to the dutch crown is a scaled down version of the right angled triangle that relates to the common rafter on the main roof both have the same pitch in degrees the both same angles yeah so you have that, that right angle is being animated here and again it's going by the line diagonal version of the roof first so that's it shaded in green there so i um, just want to make that point and um, um, just um, just want to help you guys visualize um, where we're heading with this so um, to help you visualize that i'm going to show the larger right angle triangle that relates to the main roof and i'm going to hinge that as it were or use a pivot point if you can imagine from the very center of the roof where the two commons and the dutch crown and the ridge all meet here all those lines meet drop a vertical line or vertical pivot point from there and I, i'm going to swing open the right angle triangle that relates to the main roof so um that'll be the next thing i'll be doing here and you can see it's swinging there now open so that's a portion of the wall plate from the far side of the roof as it were 
and here is my pivot line here as it were my vertical pivot line and i'm going to pivot that right angle triangle around to our perspective looking from this side so we can really compare the two right angle triangles so, so there they are so um so uh, as stated here this is the right angled uh, triangle that relates to the main roof its rise and the dutch rise will provide the proportional relationship between these two right angle triangles uh, so um, yeah so basically what that means in simple terms i suppose if you took this as an example if this rise distance here on the larger right angle triangle was uh, five and this rise on the smaller one was two then the proportional relationship uh, is two over five two fifths so um, so whatever size this run is here this would be two fifths of that on in, in for the run of the dutch crown that's basically what the message is there um, so we're going to that now anyway so <coughs> finding the proportional relationship uh, it's just been illustrated here now on this next animation so we'll take the dutch rise divided by the main rise uh, <coughs> and um, hit the equal sign on your calculator or your calculator on your mobile phone and the answer you get will be the proportional relationship between those um, two uh, right angle triangles and once you have that you can quickly um, you can quickly make that into a decimal uh, fraction if you like which makes it easier for calculation by hitting the SD button that you'll see on your calculator so uh, that's just a handy tip there so um yeah calculating the dutch crown run is our next objective here so uh, as stated here now if we multiply the common run by this decimal fraction that we've just discovered this in other words proportional relationship that we've just discovered uh, if we multiply the common run by this decimal fraction uh, our answer will be the dutch crown run so now we have the rise already got prior to this for the uh, for the Dutch crown and now we have the run also got so um, that's a handy bit of information as we delve into this um, exercise so um, just want to go through um, this next um, point here um, course the next thing you'll want to be able to, be able to determine is the uh, run of the hip so um well this is the plan view now here the bird's eye view as it were looking from above of the same roof and uh, there's your there's your gable and i just have a right angle triangle coming in there just to make the point that here is the run this this leg of the this 45 degree right angle triangle represents the run of the crown and um your hip run is always 45 degrees to that line so therefore whatever distance you have here this is going to be the same distance okay so um, um you'll basically measure from the middle there of your um the middle of your upper wall plate which should be in line with the ridge board and measure out the um run uh your the run of your crown out to this point here and um that um, that will um, tell you first of all where the center of your uh, where the center of your um, hip will be nailed and uh, so it's giving you the precise precise position now you can always offset that line by half the thickness of the hip if you like so you can see the line out here when you're nailing and um, so you can determine this 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 run for for actually marking the hip itself on a side square or whatever if you want to find out the actual distance well if you take the uh, run of the the dutch crown run on this side and multiply it by the square root of two it will give you this distance and that and multiplying by the square root of two by the way only works for a 45 degree right angle triangle it will get you the longer side of a 45 degree right angle triangle in other words now you could just measure it on a side square you know two rafters thrown together at 90 degrees to each other and measure you know the dutch run this way and the dutch run that way and then on your side square measure the diagonal and that is the run of your hip so we the run and the rise of the hip is the same as the rise of the crown for the dutch roof so you now have the rise and run of your um, hip rafter now as well and um, 
just um, moving forward then into this um just want to make a couple of other points here in regards to that i'm just zooming in here to the hip itself um <clears throat> and the, yes the 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 heel uh, of the bird's mouth is at 45 degrees on plane and that's going to be animated here that line in other words usually the, the heel cut of your bird's mouth uh, the skill saw is set at 90 degrees and it's a 90 degree cut you know when you're cutting the heel part of or the vertical part of your bird's mouth when the rafter is in position but of course in this case the uh, heel line will be actually at 45 degrees which is now animated here as i'm speaking so that's the hidden detail of the heel line of your bird's mouth um, and i'm also just going to make the point here uh, that when you're marking this hip mark it on this side as if you're marking a regular hip so you know you'll come down here with your true length lines and usually you have to half set it back in half the thickness of the, the hip itself to get to this point here where the upstand is so just if you're ever wondering which side should i go with when i'm marking the hip i always say on the dutch side mark it on the dutch side of the hip and uh, as if you were marking a regular hip but just remember that the the back of the heel will be at 45 degrees as is the face you put down here is now 45 degrees whether in a regular hip that'll be pointed from here on to be pointed in this way so just want to make those little points there <coughs> with regards to that um, yeah that's been um, animated share that message i'm just after delivering there so yeah hip and the dutch drive on the main roof yeah so um yeah, and the other point I'm going to make here is keep your upstand. That's the vertical distance from the corner of the wall plate measured to the back of the rafter. And the same here. The vertical distance at this point up to the back of this rafter. They both should be the same on the Dutch side. And that's the point I'm just illustrating there. In the thread which, uh, that I've animated. Just want to make that point. And of course at this stage, we're now in a position where we can actually calculate the length of the ridge board for this uh, roof that has a Dutch dutch in so if we get the what i call the dutch span in other words from the outside of the wall plate on this end to the outside of the wall plate on the far end dutch span we call it and if we take that distance and um, minus the run of the dutch crown which is from here to here but of course we'll have to minus the same from the far side so in other words the dutch crown multiplied by two in other words doubled yeah so if you take the dutch span minus the dutch crown run which is just animated here but you'll double that because you have the same scenario on the far side so you want to make an allowance for that um, and uh, the last you'll see here that there's our ridge length coming in but you'll see this is where the point we got to here and you see that arrow has passed that point and the reason that arrow has gone from here to here is because we have to add on the uh, common rafter thickness so you have half a common rafter thickness here and you have half a common rafter thickness over the, the other end of the roof so that's why we're adding on a common rafter um, the thickness of a common rafter so that's the thickness of a common rafter from there to there so um, if 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 you look carefully at the drawing hopefully it will make sense as to why that should work to get the length of this ridge board here